Hey, welcome back to the drinker.co.uk with me, Pete Turner, for another one of my seasonal roundups of the supermarkets in the UK. In this vid, I'm giving you my six picks from Marks and Spencer. Uh, the season, by the way, being the winter of 23 going into the spring of 24. And this one, we're looking at my selections from Marks and Spencer. Um, go to the drinker.co.uk. We cover all of the supermarkets, all of the major retailers. Um, you'll see all my listings there at all the different prices. But in these vids, none of of the wines cost more than £10. Not sure how much longer we can carry on doing £10, sub £10 wines with the quality that we need, but we will give it a go, finding new value as we go into a cost of living crisis. So here we are with two reds, two whites, a rosé and a fizz, as always from Marks and Spencer. Marks and Spencer do brilliant things all across their wine range. We've got three here from the Found range. Um, these are great varieties that you might not be um, familiar with. Um, they also do some quite good entry level wines, which are these sort of simply type wines. Um, also the, the Classics range is still there and which showcases really good classic wines from across the world. And then there's the M&S collection. You'll see them. We've got blue label with gold writing on and they're very, very good wines, but they are slightly more expensive. So I've kept the prices down and we are kicking off with the Found range. I love the Found range. Uh, this is 750. This is Found Refosco. Refosco. Uh, this is a beautiful wine. It comes from northern Italy, uh, northeastern Italy, just north of Venice. Refosco is not a great variety that I'm particularly familiar with. And it's a beautiful um, uh, re red and black cherry nose to it. But there's something else there. And I want to say, in the best possible way, um, bicycle tyre in a tube, which is really lovely sitting in the back there so it's some lovely sort of bitterness maybe some licorice mm. oh it's it's really good it's 13 percent, by the way but it's really good the uh, fruit's very expressive red and black cherry that lovely sort of bitter black cherry note that you get in a lot of italian red wines that sort of herbal note in the back there, some licorice, some intriguing sort of tertiary notes to it. Really, really complex wine at only 7.50. M&S found Rafosco, get, get lots of that. That's really good, interesting little house red for the winter. And next along, we've got another one from the found range. This is Alicante Bouchette. Comes from, it doesn't come from Alicante, it comes from Alentejo, which is the southern end of Portugal. This is eight quid, should have said 13%. 14% in alcohol. So this is Alicante Bouchette, same kind of colour. Oh, it's beautiful nose. It's bursting with sort of plum and damson and red and black cherry. And then there's something else there. And I want to say, I want to say almost Play-Doh, that kind of marzipan-y Play-Doh, Play-Doh note to it. Really interesting nose. Mmm, mmm. And that becomes more spicy in the palate. There's some cinnamon there. It's very warming, beautifully open. Yes, yeah, a beautiful sort of lovely sort of winter wine there. Eight quid for Alicante Bouchette. There's an interesting wine to serve your guests over the winter period. Lovely stuff. Okay, right up the other end of the scale. This is Pinot Grigio. It's just called Light and Fresh Pinot Grigio. It's Italian. doesn't say where in Italy. And it's £5.50, so a real good well-priced sort of party wine and it's simple and light and it smells of lemon peel and that's kind of it really lemon peel maybe pear drop mm. and it's everything you need from a five pound fifty bottle of wine simple easy going fresh dry but don't have to think too much about it it's a lovely easy drop of white wine five pound fifty yeah party wine House house wine, Wednesday night wine, beautiful stuff, very affordable, very easy going, not going to set your world on fire, but sometimes you just need a glass of dry white wine and that's it, get that in your fridge door. Okay, so we're back to the found range and this is Wiesburgunder or Pinot Blanc, uh, comes from Germany, comes from the Fouts in Germany I think, uh, Pinot Blanc, it's £9.50 so it's the other end of the skirt, it's beautiful golden lemon colour. And it's a different class. It's it's worlds apart. It's beautiful straw and lemon and almond blossom. It's it's all sorts of interesting. 
that it's unoaked so it's just the fruit doing the singing here and there is a lovely little bit of white grape skin about the nose again fresh and dry but all those elements come together it's mouth watering it's beautiful it's succulent little hint of satsuma some lovely pear some lovely peach little bit of floral aromatics to it beautiful beautiful wine it's made by step um, a brilliant winemakers if you see step on any of the bottles in marks and spencer or anywhere really um, really really good winemakers from germany they do make other other wines uh, for mns but they're really really fabulous wine there beautiful stuff people know really what they're doing and again one of the simple ones soft and fruity soft and fruity five pound fifty rosé let's have a little look at what you get for your five pounds fifty here yeah beautiful light uh i want to say crushed raspberry uh with sprinkled with white pepper mm. and the raspberry becomes kind of tinned strawberry but it's dry and fresh and zingy and simple and elegant and everything you need from a rosé at five pounds fifty that is your party rosé for the winter and the springtime super super stuff excellent another rosé now this is rosé carvo carvo rosado comes from spain obviously it's just m s carvo rosado seven quid and i pulled this some time ago and it's still bubbling away really really well and again lovely hint of uh, raspberry some cranberry notes i want to say in the nicest possible way some undiluted orange squash it's really really intriguing now carver was great in the early 90s and then it got very poor when we all went off and discovered prosecco and now it's great again I'm really concentrating on the quality this is going to be interesting beautiful soft fresh lovely bubbles really easy drinking it's quite high acidity but not in a bad way not in that sort of grating old-fashioned carver way that fruit persists all the way through it this lovely ro uh, rosé little hint of raspberry in it so there you go that's my six seasonal picks for winter 23 going into spring 24 uh, from marks and spencer super stuff they really know what they're doing lovely lovely folk at marks and spencer and they've got some great wines there I'm Pete. I'm on the drinker.co.uk. Give me a like, share and follow. Let me know what you're drinking and enjoy your wine now. Cheers.